Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jim Lee, Rar Fishing, and today I'll be sharing with you guys a new reel that I purchased for 2017. And that reel is right here. Ta-da! Boom! It's the Creed GT3000 from 13 Fishing. It's part of their 1-3 line, which is their entry-level line. Um, they have both entry-level rods and reels, um, which is basically cheaper pricing, affordable, as I say. I don't want to say the word cheap because it's not uh, cheap products. It's uh, still very good performing products. Uh, as I read, uh, which is why I purchased this reel. But actually, I purchased this reel in 2016, and right now it's in February, the end of February. I waited three months for this. This guy's been back for so long, and I finally got it. So I can't wait to start our season with this reel. All right, so you guys, let's take a step back and talk about why I purchased a new reel. Um, I actually uh, do a lot of drop shot fishing while I'm kayak fishing. Uh, I like to go onto structure where fish are staged at and all I do is vertical jig non-stop and then in salt water I primarily fish for uh, summer flounder and that's basically the same thing I'm basically bouncing bucktails at the bottom throughout the channel and my arms get tired because I do it all day long so I want a light rod light reel combo that will uh, reduce some of the weight some of the stress on my arm so um, given that I got a lot of rods already I want to just buy a lighter reel and this guy kind of fit in that category and one thing guys when you guys fish on a kayak um, and you lose a rod or reel you can lose, lose it very easily because you don't have enough uh, that much room so two things you can't carry a lot of rods and then if you carry a lot of rods you'll potentially lose something so uh, I wanted something that's affordable and this guy fit right into that category another thing guys is um when you're on a kayak, you can't carry a lot of rods and reels. So the reason why I got a 3000 size is because I'm not going to only use this guy for drop shot fishing. I'm going to use it for casting as well. I'm casting some light lures, uh, weightless plastic, uh, skipping plastic under docks or whatever. I need something that will uh, do multi-purpose and that's why I chose this guy. But um, if I were to, do, to uh, do drop shot, purely drop shot, I'll probably use a 2000 size. Uh, because it's a lot lighter and um, it's gonna be a lot better for Marn. Uh, and also, I don't use mono when I do drop shot fishing. I use all braid and then I use a floral leader. So uh, I don't need that huge line capacity, which this this guy right here have uh, a good amount of capacity. Especially, it's telling me what the capacity is for a mono. Uh, so again, this is the 3000 series. So let's go through this. The mono can hold uh, for eight pounds, 200 yards, 10 pounds, 170 yards. And for 12 pound, 145. So that, that's a lot of line. But anyway, guys, um, I'm going go through some a uh, couple more specs, but you can check out the description below with the rest of other specs. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you guys with everything. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the things that I actually like. Uh, so I like this reel because it's light. And let's talk about the things that make this thing light. So let's go from uh, backwards. Um, let's talk about spool itself. Spool is aluminum, but it's super ported. They put a lot of holes on it to reduce the, uh, the weight of the spool. And then the shape of the spool, is, uh, the holes is pretty cool. It actually looks like a bridge. Uh, bridge use this type of uh, pattern because it actually is a very um, strong foundation. So this guy should be uh, very, very um, sturdy. All right, so let's talk about the, the other parts that makes this whole reel very light. So it has airfoil carbon uh, parts. So this frame itself right here, um, the rotor itself right, uh, right here too, that's carbon. And the handle right here is carbon too. So three, three pieces, that's carbon, making it light. And also don't forget about this um, knob right here is EVA foam. And um, let's talk about the foam, uh, foam right here. So this foam, it, you, it's, of course it's tough, uh, but it actually feels kind of soft when you squeeze onto it. And it's very comfortable. It's sized pretty, pretty well and shaped pretty well. I like it. Um, just by holding it and kind of gripping it and spinning this handle right here, it feels that I would feel very comfortable catching big fish with it when I wrangle it and, and uh, you know turning the handle. Uh, I see no problems with it. Uh, I actually like to like it because it actually says uh, one three on it when I'm looking at it. A uh, couple more things about this reel itself. I really love the colors. Uh, it's mostly black, gray, uh, gray. I guess kind of like gunmetal chrome. Um, I like the chrome red right here on the side right here. It looks really sick and both sides the left and right said 13 on it and when you actually re reel this in the rotor kind of um, 
spins around and it says 13 and it covers up and then it opens back up. So it's, it's like flashing 13. Pretty sick. But anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you guys uh, want to see me catch some fish using this reel, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, and leave me some feedback. If you guys uh, have this reel, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys still have it in back order, um, well that sucks, but let me know what you think anyway. Peace out guys. Cheers.